Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. It really means the world to me. I'm so glad you took time out of your busy schedule to join me to talk about fragrances. Well, I am super excited because as you can tell from the thumbnail, I just got a package in and it of course is my sample of the brand new 2022 release from Zoologist called Cockatiel. And I'm so excited to bring you my thoughts. Without any further ado, let's just go ahead and dive right in. So what do I love about Zoologist? Well, I say this every single time, their attention to detail is absolutely mesmerizing. It's amazing. They're thought provoking. I love their stories and they just do everything first class. And to me, they are, they're not for the faint of heart, okay? They're not going to be making mass appealing fragrances. They're gonna be making artistic, beautiful, gorgeous works of art, guys. And if you are into fragrances at all, this is the house for you. If you're looking for something mass appealing that everybody already has, or if you just wanna smell, like the masses, this is definitely not the fragrance for you because they can make some challenging fragrances. But guys, you're definitely gonna stand out in a crowd when you're wearing these fragrances because they're so different. To me, this is a collector's house. If you are a collector of fine fragrances, this is the house for you. But anyways, this is what my sample looked like. It came on this card right here. And when you buy samples, sometimes you buy samples from other companies, you get those, those bottles that you have to pour out, the splash bottles. I hate those. This is a nice full presentation where you get the sprayer and then of course you get the cool artwork as well, guys. And it's just such an amazing piece of art. I love it so much. And then in inside, you've got the notes and a little story, guys. Let me put a full bottle presentation on the screen right now so you can see exactly what that looks like. And then I'll read you real quick the synopsis of this fragrance. Australian Spring Arrives bearing dazzling frocks of yellow blossoms to dress the bare golden wattle trees. Clouds of sweet honey fragrance caught up upon the breeze, carrying an invitation inland where a flock of cockatiels happily takes the celebration. Emerging from dusty nests, the birds are ready to preen and prance. On a wobbly stage of branches, vivid crests bop to the rhythm of their joyous songs. After a final encore, the flock takes flight, lighting in a nearby field. They share a delightful brunch, buzzing with the thrill of the stunning recital. In the top, you have champagne, raspberry, and rhubarb. In the heart of the composition, you have acacia. You have pottery notes and cashmere. And then, of course, in the base, you have guaiac, patchouli, vanilla, and musk. But just to let you guys know, this was another composition from a long time ago from a perfumer by the name of Sven. I'm not going to say his last name because I will totally butcher it. But Sven had this creation called Powder and Dust. His, fr his fragrance company went out of business and Zoologist bought up this composition and it is now called Cockatiel. So that is what we have here. And here is my sample and let's go ahead and spray it and I will give you my thoughts. Now I've already initially sprayed it just to let you know but I want to spray it on camera and to let you see my reaction live. When I first read the notes, I thought these are going to be absolutely fantastic. It seemed very gourmandish in nature, but let's spray it and I'll tell you what I think. Well, not going to disappoint. If you love very challenging, anomalic, balsamic, Fragrances, this is the fragrance for you. <laughs> right out of the gate when I'm smelling this, man, I had high, high hopes. Okay, I had high hopes because I thought, well, maybe Zoologist is making the first mass appealing, gorgeous gourmand fragrances with these notes of champagne, raspberry, rhubarb. Then, of course, you've got, you know, patchouli, vanilla, musk. I was like, wow, this is going to smell absolutely amazing. But right out of the gate, there is something so medicinal, so strange so astringent zoologist never fails to deliver when it comes to different when it comes to artistic i'm not going to say it smells bad it's just very i don't know what the word is it's very medicinal very astringent all along though while you're smelling it you're definitely getting the undertones of the beautiful champagne the raspberry is definitely coming underneath that uh, astringent smell you're, you pick up the rhubarb as well the cashmere in here is very, very nice. And of course, I'm getting a very strong woodiness coming from the Gaiac. And it's just got some nice, nice volume and depth mixed with that patchouli and vanilla. But guys, <laughs> the first initial 
I don't know, 20 minutes. It is powerful, very, very powerful. But then it does start to dry down at, at about, I don't know, I'd say about 30 to 40 minute mark. And you're starting to pick up that really, really nice honeyed scent. That's just very, very beautiful. You're picking up a nice champagne, dry champagne, giving you a nice dryness and the raspberry and the rhubarb really, really make this thing sparkle and shine. And then you're definitely going to pick up that patchouli and the vanilla and the dry down. And then it's very beautiful once it dries down. So if you can get past the first initial blast of medicinal, almost kind of like burning wood, I really don't know how to describe this. It's a strange scent, unlike anything I've ever smelled, but it's, it's definitely different. It's a nice fragrance. It's not one that I think I'm going to run out and buy, but uh, if you're one of those ones who likes to have every bottle in your collection, I can see why you would because the artwork is absolutely beautiful. The story that it invokes is really, really cool. But all in all, this is just a really, really different kind of fragrance. Again, the notes are there, but it's hard to get past that top, that really top that comes at you, that top astringent-like medicinal smell that's really there. Yeah, it's just musky, slightly fruity but strange. I was really, really hoping this would be kind of like almost maybe feminine, beautiful, sweet, and uh, it's not. I think if they had not put that note at the top, this would come across as very sweet, mass appealing, and almost, you know, feminine more than it would be um, unisex. But because of that top note, this tends to make it a little bit more masculine, a little bit more rugged um, with that weird astringent smell at the top. But guys, it's not a bad fragrance. I think that smell kind of wore off, that really, really harsh smell wore off at about 30 to 40 mark. And then you were left with that nice, it's still there, <laughs> but it kind of just burns off and you're left with that really nice raspberry champagne, you know, just woody scent. It's a, it's a really, really unique fragrance. All in all, this fragrance didn't last very long on my skin. It didn't go beast mode or anything like that. I think I stopped smelling it around the six hour mark. Um, I'll have to give it a little bit more wearing. I only wore it just the one time. So this is kind of a first impressions. Um, be careful on the sprays because it's definitely going to project loud for the first two hours. And then like then after that, it's going to die down. So you don't want to spray very heavily because like I said, it's very astringent and it's very powerful. And um, but, you know, the power of the stringentness kind of dies down and you still have a powerful fragrance for the next two hours. It's different. It's unique. It's not for the faint of heart. As I always say with every fragrance house, but especially zoologists, please guys, definitely, definitely don't blind buy. Definitely sample like I did because then you're not stuck spending a lot of money on a fragrance that you may not like. And then you're just going to have to find a way to sell it later on down the road. So those are my first impressions. Those are my quick thoughts on cockatiel. Really different, very, very strange. Don't hate it. Don't love it. It's just in the middle. I'm going to wear it some more. And then maybe on down the road, you know, who knows? Maybe it'll grow on me. Maybe I'll uh, discover more about it. It's just like watching a movie over and over. If you watch a movie, you always find something new that you didn't realize last time. And I know the more I live with this fragrance, I may find some things about it that surprise me down the line. That I like about it because there's a lot of fragrances I don't like at the beginning and then as my nose changes I start to like them and there are a lot of fragrances I love in the beginning that are so beautiful that I think that they're so boring later on so I'm definitely going to live with this fragrance a little bit longer and give it more of a shot um, this is a unique fragrance unlike anything I've ever smelled and uh, maybe it's meant to be unique because like they were saying in the story cockatiels definitely love to show off Definitely love to show their feathers. Definitely love, like to strut around. So this is a fragrance that struts for sure. So give it a shot. I think the samples are like eight bucks. So you can't, you know, you're not going to be out of a lot of money. You pay like, depending on where you are here in the States, I think it's like $5 shipping, something like that. You can't beat it, guys. Test out Zoologist. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised by the company. Even if you don't like this one, there. Are, even if you don't like Cockatiel, there are plenty other ones to like in the line. All right, guys, that'll do it for me. Thank you so much for being here today. Really means the world to me. Let me know your thoughts on cockatiel if you've tried it, or let me know your thoughts on other zoologist fragrances. What do you think? Do you like this house? What are some of your favorites? Let me know down in the comments down below. I'd love to have you part of my fragrance family. 
doesn't cost you anything to join. Just hit that subscribe button down below and hit the bell notifications off to the side. Guys, I will see you in the next video. I hope wherever you're at, you're finding peace and happiness, and I'll see you next time. Peace, love, and ciao.